What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name's Mia and it's so great having you in today. Welcome in or welcome back. Today we're going to be building the inside of Teddy's home. I'm still struggling a little bit with the exteriors so eventually I will include them in the speed builds but for now Teddy requested a cozy cabin and we're going to be creating a cozy RV. It's basically like a cabin on wheels. But if you enjoy videos like this and Animal Crossing speed builds, please remember to like this video, hit that subscription button, and turn on those notifications as I do put out new videos weekly. And if you have any particular videos or speed builds that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. So I'm going with a 6x10. Originally I wanted it to be 4x10. But I really struggled with the idea of trying to create an RV. It's an idea I had for a while. I've actually had to keep revisiting this area for a few days and almost gave up on it because I really struggled with trying to figure out the layout and how to make the wall look and just the whole thing making it feel like it's basically an RV. The same type of you know, layout that it feels when you're inside of one. So I went ahead and created some codes of my own to help get that effect. But the bottom trim, um, I will have that in the description box. So if you're interested, it is there. But I'm going to go really slow on creating the wall because again, this part took me a while to figure out. The placement of the codes was a little bit of a struggle. But what I like to do is when I place a glow in the dark sticker on the wall I like to push the R2 button and just multiply it and then I'll go ahead and change it from there so we're gonna be putting in the windows that I created here I will have those in the description box I am trying to work on them a little bit more add some more details but I will put this version in there But I really love this wallpaper because it feels like you're inside of an RV, you're hitting the road, you're on a road trip. So like I said earlier, I was struggling with this area, this entire build, this concept. I almost abandoned the whole thing. I just was giving up. I didn't know what to do. And then it finally just clicked one night and it's like everything came out. The whole creativity started to flow. So if you ever find yourself stuck in that position, don't give up. Sometimes what I need to do is just take a break from that area and I'll go work on someone else's home. And then I came back and revisited it and it's like it all just made sense. But you're gonna notice as I'm putting the codes on the wall, I am keeping a lot of spots blank. And the reason is because you do have a limited amount of items that you can place in the room. So I figured that out after I had the entire room covered in codes and I slowly started to delete parts in order to put more items. So again, if you're in the experimental phase of doing designs like this, my first step is normally to put the whole codes that I want on the wall. And then if you find yourself getting that notification telling you that there is no more room for items, then I go back and try to figure out where I can delete and where I can put some items that are gonna cover those spots. So the area I'm building here, this is where the driver is, the little cabin, and that's kind of where the whole idea started to flow. I was just looking at a lot of pictures on Pinterest of what the inside of an RV looks like, and then when I saw this image with the two seats in the front and the picture was taken from the back of the RV, everything just kind of clicked. And then um, that's what I'm doing with these pillars. So I'm trying to make the room feel tight, but then also open in certain areas, mainly because of the type of items and the room we're using. So when I was first coming up with the idea, I was going to use a pirate wheel, but then I just started going through all of the items I had in my inventory and I just thought the spaceship control panel made it look like it was the dashboard of a vehicle. So that's kind of where we went here. 
and then I am gonna move around the pillars. You'll notice that they are not equally distributed. And the reason for that is because I did wanna give Teddy a shower along with a bathroom. So I made sure that his RV is fully livable. But I'll be back in just a moment to discuss some more of the steps happening here in Teddy's RV. I was putting in the chairs and the table I really wanted to be able to squeeze through to sit down but it didn't really look really realistic for me so there are a few areas in the home that you can't actually access but Teddy can um, but if you visit sorry there are some spaces that you won't be able to fit through so what we're gonna do next is work on the kitchen and I'm just gonna start to make this layout come together and you're gonna notice that I play around with the pillars just so we make everything start to feel tighter in certain spots and then it widens up as we move on to the bedroom. So as we move to the top view, you're gonna notice I'm gonna multiply the pillar. I might have accidentally forgot to move that pillar on the left back into its spot. But if you look on the top left corner, there is one pillar that's kind of out of place. It should be lined up. It is a little awkward and I think I might have fixed it at the end of the video. But if you are trying to recreate this type of RV, just know that that pillar is a little off centered. So now we're going to work on the bedroom. And the bedroom was one of the areas that was hard for me to figure out too when it started coming to that point because I started having a limited amount of space here, but I just thought this patchwork bed was so cute and I've been wanting to use it. At first I thought about bunk beds, but this bed just fits so perfectly towards the end. So I'm only gonna do a few mood lights with the ceiling items. I definitely am in love with the hanging shelves, so we will be adding a lot of those, but we're basically going to now just fill up the rest of the room with kitchen items and a lot of miscellaneous items but whenever you're trying to find all of those filler items it is in, in the miscellaneous area and I sort mine by type and I'm just gonna start to go through the list and just add everything in to start to complete this build
basically concludes the speed build. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. It was such a challenging process and I really enjoyed trying to create something that was challenging for me. But have a great rest of your night or day wherever you are my friends. Goodbye.